All right. Well, hello, everybody. Um, I'm super excited about this one. <laughs> we saw the trailer for this game, and I immediately was like, all right, we're getting that game. We're immediately streaming that. So uh, It's definitely one of the cooler trailers that we watched. Yep. Um, and was immediately like, why do we have to have the VR to do this? Yes. It was actually one of the things that inspired me to get the VR. Um, just actually pull the trigger on that because we mm -hmm. saw this trailer and we're like, all right, we're, we have to play this at some point. So as you can probably see on your screen, it is Robinson the Journey. Which, despite the awesome trailer, I know very little about, actually. Um, well, the trailer was kind of just like, you're in a ship, and it's obviously landed somewhere. Crash and landed. Crash, oh, sorry, crash landed somewhere. <laughs> you have this very British little helpful robot that's like, you know, I really would suggest that you not leave, um, by the way. Oh, yeah. you're opening the door? Okay, well, um, mm. yeah. and mm. then you step outside, and it's like, Gorgeous. Cool alien lush yeah. world. Uh, it's crazy. But other than that, I don't know anything like, so for example, I have the motion controllers and the PlayStation controller right there because I don't know what control system this uses. We're going to find or out. what kind of game it is or anything like that. And so uh, basically they had a good enough trailer, did sell me on the concept of it. I'm a huge sucker for science fiction and this also had an aesthetic I really liked of the kind of like, um, it was kind of moderately advanced science fiction but it was all based off of modern stuff and so mm. it wasn't like Star Trek era it was more like uh, Interstellar or um, uh, that one with the uh, satellites all blowing up in orbit like gravity there we go uh, it's a little bit more kind of like a modern-ish vibe so without any further ado let's get this show on the road Right. And hope that this does not break the uh, stream like it usually does. Oh, we'll be watching. All right, we switched to no signal. Uh, and uh, soon. Soon. Mm-mm. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Well, What'd you uh, do? I, I turned on the headset, unfortunately. <laughs> How do we lose it completely? Like, it's not well, even showing I, on the TV at this point. Okay, so it is showing here. Okay. Um, Previously, it was, you know, yeah, give us the menu. So, see what you can get through. Maybe you can get into it, and then it'll load. I'm not sure. Okay, well, yeah, I'll try opening up the game. Um, I'm not getting any sound so i have a loading screen right now mm -hmm. um are we, are we getting anything on the main screen nope okay nope Bleh. so it continues to be very very finicky technology of uh getting all these pieces to work together so let us play with the stream settings for a second mm, give me a um, minute i'm gonna put us on break for just a second All right. Are we so, back? Well, maybe, maybe not. I mean, we we are back, but uh, XSplit is having a seizure here. Oh no! Is it like dropping frames and stuff? No, it just keeps flipping between no signal and one moment for you. Oh no! So I'm going to do what we usually do, and it works because I don't know why this works. All right, so now we can see what you can see, and it's moving around. Uh oh. Well, I mean, it's always moving around. Yep, get ready for motion sickness, everybody. It's the nature of VR. Yes. All right. All right. Warning, this should not be used by children under 12. So unfortunately, I... Oh, hey. Hey, take a look at our surroundings, everybody. You can see our nice, messy uh, apartment. Shh. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, okay, good. Phew, I was like, it's better. Um. Whoa. Whoa, would you look at that? That's yeah. pretty. Outer space, yo. Oh, so I have a little dot pointer. Oh, I need to see something. 
Take a quick look at the options. Look for things like, for example, subtitles, which is one of my favorite things. To I have. can barely even read that. Yeah, it is quite small. So let's see. Is it? Ah, okay. Yes, I'm supposed to be closer. Music volume, essay volume, and voice volume. Do you think you want to turn down the other two so the vo the at least the audio of the people talking is louder than the sound effects or the music? Sure. Let's go for it. Oh my god, it's controlled with your head. It's so hard to do precisely. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so that Probably way I think that if people are talking at the very least, we should be able to hear them. Yeah, with any luck. Voice language. What else can you choose? Uh, French, French Spanish, Spanish, Japanese. Well, right. No, <laughs> don't do Japanese. I don't want to translate <laughs> this whole thing. Uh, so for those who do not know, uh, the, her amazing, beautiful self is fluent in Japanese. Oh, uh, I wouldn't say fluent, but... I studied it for several years. No, I can hold a conversation, but when it comes to really technical stuff, I don't have the vocabulary. Yeah. And if this is a space sciencey game, <laughs> that's like gonna be such a pain. Yeah. It's really interesting. You can see the whole EU and Britain from up here. Uh, anyway, going back to you, let's see what the gameplay has to go. Rotation mode, high chart. What? <laughs> I have the faintest idea. I have no idea what Straight that means. mode, limited keep direction, free, limited. Okay, so I it looks like I am using the controller for this. Pie chart, oh, pie chart, continuous, smooth pie chart. All right, show Horizontal recenter speed notification. speed correction and so, show recenter notification. I think we'll have to look at that to... Uh, yeah. Good. All right, cool. Recenter the view. So, let us hop. Oh, well, I should, sorry. Gonna look at every menu. Credits, no thanks. We'll look at you later. All right, let's go. Empty Take slot. Take a slot, Empty any slot. slot. All right, we're doing the middle slot. Updating information. In, it said infotarium. Oh. <laughs> I don't think it said information. I did not I might see. be wrong. I didn't see an M in there. I only very briefly saw it, so unfortunately I can't say for sure. Hmm. Loading above the skies of a distant planet. A ship's journey ends in tragedy. One boy reaches the surface, but he is not alone. It's like, show me the trailer. Come on, guys. What? Higgs, take a look at this. My scans indicate that this is a high-risk area, mainly on account of it being a tyrannosaur's nest. What? Oh my. Hey, buddy. So cute. Your mommy's gonna eat me up. I want one. Can you get one? No. Why not? Not for the least of which they're extinct. <laughs> Growing one seems like a terrible idea. But you know, somebody breeding miniature dinosaurs would oh definitely God. be a huge market. Stay <laughs> back, Robin. No, I'm getting closer. So She's funny. cute. Go for the face. To feed? What are we feeding her? Your hand? I don't know. My, my hand, apparently. Are you have Cheetos? What was that? <laughs> That is a vicious predator. I know what you're thinking. No X. I think I'll call her Laika. Call her what? Laika? Three months, Three months later. later. So I guess the trailer doesn't happen in the game? Well, no, I think the trailer happens, like, before we land. Or, I'm sorry, before the game begins. That's what I mean. Yeah. It's like, this is immediately very, very odd that we're just hopping right in to... Good morning, Robin. Well. Move your head to look around. There's so much stuff in this room. Yeah. Apparently, it wants me to hold a small object that has a ball at the end of it. I'm so glad you're awake. I've been rather bored without you. You know what I'm like. I start to get a little existential when I don't have someone to care for. 
Take your time. I think you're going to have a big day ahead of you. I like the addition of the floating hand, even though you clearly can't use both that and the move controller. Yeah. Interesting. You're just permanently okay. like this. Well done. Let's go celebrate. Press X. To this is pod 3091659, broadcasting on all frequencies. If there are any other survivors out there, let me know. Higgs is getting pretty lonely. I know there's never been a response in over a year, but you really should take this seriously. Wait, over a year? I thought it said three months later. Maybe I guess that was three months from the incident that we just saw, but that's a little yeah. disorienting. Hello. Looking for a reflection in my face and not getting much. It's very, very pretty, if nothing else. Mm. I see a little press thing. What do you got for me? This is an emergency escape pod from the DSEV Esmeralda. In case of planet fall, your priority is to survive and regroup with other crew. Ensure that your emergency location transponders are activated in the pod and on your suit. Ensure you have the following essentials in order of priority. Water, food, shelter, heat, and signaling capability. Regularly broadcast your status and monitor all channels for other survivors. Most importantly, stay calm, stay with the pod, and conserve energy. I'm getting a little bit of that same seizure thing. I hope that it's not going to keep doing that. I think it's collisions that are happening. Possibly. Everything is extremely round here. Yeah. That's how you can tell it's sci fi. Oh, right. You cut all the corners off things. That makes it futuristic. We come in pieces. La 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 la. Okay. So all those little turns are a single push of the joystick. Still standing, even after a year. Can you believe we used to live on that ship? Hurtling through the stars at 67 million miles per hour until she was a magnificent ship, wasn't she? Other people must have got off. Where's Laika got to? Why don't you try calling it? Laika! That beast is up in its hole, hiding from shame, I'd imagine. I'm afraid we have some work to do before you can play with your pet. Best you take a look around. Like a boss. Invisible wall. Pretty visible wall, but... Kind of a weird wall. Oh. Ah, the wicks. Yes, our power problem is affecting this, too. We won't be able to fix much if we can't lift heavy objects. Hold RT to, to levitate. levitate. Uh, what? If only the wicks was online, then oh, you could see. lift I that up. I think you have to target an object, yeah. Oh, no. Trapped by a big piece of mess. What a shame. You won't be able to let it out until we've dealt with the havoc it has caused. Well, it kind of seems so like yeah, this isn't working. Like well, yeah, so I follow this, I guess? I will say... Power generation is not optimal. Now. The water turbine has a fault. Follow me. Oh. I'm holding it down for now, but the movement of this is a bit disoriented. I do feel a little bit of stomach churn of like mm. you know, that kind of rotation. You see here, the water turbine's clogged. That's the cause of the power outage. All that roughhouse oh, dinosaur play, it must have tipped these barrels into the water. We have a physics engine. <laughs> Please use it. Excellent. 
We have power. But I can see now that the circuits need repairing too. Oh, wonderful. I can actually help you with that. Look at Higgs. One of the things that this game does, uh, I'm sorry, which VR does, which uh, is very, very difficult to do in other settings, is give you a fantastic sense of things. Of I think I can be of service here. Really, really big. Hmm. Oh, okay. Ooh, what? you're now the robot. Press X to distribute energy. Okay, so. Is this a math problem? Good to feel useful. The power should be flowing perfectly now. The wicks will be back online. Oh, hey. Hmm? I don't know. There's like blue outline of that place you were just in. That, that, that. Nope, that. What? See? Right in front of you. Walk forward. Oh, oh, there's like a force field? Yeah. That thing? Ah, okay, yeah. This might be like I can levitate much, much heavier objects. I wonder if there's a farm over here. Oh, I want to levitate one of the little critters. I can get more pets. Oh, there it is. Get it to drop that ball before it destroys the thing. It's not like we can buy another one. Come on, Laika. Don't worry about Higgs. I just gotta work on your training so that he doesn't blow a fuse. Drop it. Now, big test. Can it remember how to play hide and seek? Head over to the tree there and start the game. Come along. <laughs> it's like a cat, like, oh, I want it, I want it, please, I want it. Hide and seek starts at the tree. Simple creature, simple rules. I'm going to really quickly try just the options. Gameplay, strafe mode. And try letting it high chart, high chart continuous. Okay. So I'm gonna try it like this because this mm. might be like really, really bad for motion sickness. Uh, Off we go. Like her, wanna play hide and seek? I don't know what you do. Yeah, I don't know. Oh. Laika, want to play hide and seek? It's too far away. Call it up. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. What? I don't know. Help. What are we supposed to do? <laughs> Nuclear launch detected. Laika. Like her, wanna play hide and seek? You press like right or down or something to call. Maybe only now you can start the hide and seek game. Oh. Ten, nine, eight, seven, oh, six, I don't know. five, four, three, to break line of two, so that, like... one. Ready or not, here I come. I guess we're seeking? That was I not clear. Much colder. Colder.
Oh, all right, so that's pretty brutal, actually. Mm. So the strafing is fine, the rotation, let's go. Let's try pie trick. Cold up. Yes, warmer. Warmer and warmer. You just ran back in there. Definitely warmer. Much colder. Watch your suit energy levels, Robin. You won't be able to lift anything if it runs out. What? Colder still. Can I give you need a key? I suppose you should keep looking, Robin. Now, which toy is like his favorite? Yes, warmer. <sighs> Definitely warmer. Okay, well. Still kind of. Well, now I know why they, uh. Really sharply limit yes, strafing. Yes, warm. Like, strafing is tiny, mo tiny motion. Ah. Um, when they do it by the default, uh, the definitely warm. Messes you up. I'm like, oh god! And I was like, fast die, uh, mm. fast strafing. Okay. What has it got there? That is a Higgs unit. Get your pet away from him before some serious damage is done. There's precious data in there. We should scan it immediately, Robin. Precious information, eh? Nice. Let's scan the other thing. Not your dinosaur. I'm, I'm scanning the other thing. Robin, could you scan the unit, please? I want to check your pet can't damage data cores. If it can, then we should all be very, very afraid. Especially me. Well done. A creature scanned successfully. I'll add that data to your infotarium now. You have to avoid all the red things. Oh, that's How did it get here? We don't just blow it to the camp. Your friend must have brought... This is a colony unit sent ahead of the Esmeralda to lay the foundations of our society. A piece of your history. Tyson 3, correct? I don't know how long we've been here. My clocks stopped functioning. I'd send you another image of the surface, but my camera's out of commission too. Those pattern B tube apartments you've got coming will be nice, won't they? Entertainment systems, rainforest showers, barbecues, shiny oh, and dry Higgs docks, yeah. spare parts. And... Like so Please cute. come. Just We're waiting for you. Hello, command. Eighty-three percent of my battery. Ah. My phone. Yes. These guys' whole landing site. If our crew were out there, that's where they'd start the colony. These Higgs units can tell us where they are. There must be more. Let's find them. I see. Well, the data here suggests there are three more nearby. I know the way. Send it to the gate here. These animals are causing the gate to lock. Go there. Uh... Like a... Like a... E. Works on cats and Tyrannosaurus. It can't make it. Go, go. <laughs> you can't do a job. So I thought that we were supposed to somehow go now. It can't reach. Mm. Have we chased that away? I thought was there. Yeah, I don't know. It can't do it.
I think we should take a look at that gate, Robin. Pointing to the ground it as gave well. up. Thanks. You want to give a hint? Yeah, I'm a little confused. I don't quite know what you want. Maybe you'd have to go get like there again. They keep saying, like, get here. You should look at the gate. Come, little dinosaur. Come join me. <laughs> so, uh, See if you can get it to stand in the little blue circle that it seems to be pointing. Good. Now have it bark at them. Oh. oh. Roar. Roar. That's it. I don't like scaring the poor things, but your friend would have probably eaten them otherwise. Thanks for all your help today, Robin. I know maintaining your home isn't always what you want to do, but it's vital to your survival. And you know that's what I care most about. To adventure. To adventure and beyond. I would like to check on the farm this morning. I stopped receiving a signal from the Grobot sometime last night. We don't want to run out of food. It's just suddenly loaded. <laughs> well done. Butterfly. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, oh look guess. at it! He's so cute. Gen genus. Uh, although it's cute at the moment, this young tyrannosaur will soon become a gigantic, wild, voracious predator. To make it more worrying, it also displays uncharacteristic intelligence and is capable of understanding human commands and playing complicated <laughs> games. The sooner it leaves their camp, the better. You feeling a little bit threatened? I mean, I think it's just gonna come back. Is the problem? <laughs> yeah. It's not a real T-Rex, doesn't have feathers. <laughs> a true apex predator. These horned monsters, horns, have humongous jaws and a devastating bite. I've observed that they live in matriarchal groups. The females of the species are generally larger, stronger, and more aggressive. Hmm. Nom, 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 nom. Tiny little arms. Pigs calling units. So Looks like five total there. Okay. Got nothing for you, I think. Hmm. This is very pretty. Yeah. It was made by the uh, Crytek folks. Mm -hmm. uh, widely renowned for incredibly awesome looking games.
Oh no, it's just like, I mean, we already have butterflies, so yeah. it's not... I know I nag you about this, but it's really about time we started doing some real science. How about adding animals to the infotarium? Yeah, you're right. That's a cool mechanic, actually. <laughs> Cool. That is cool. I like that. In the infotarium. If you keep this up everywhere you go, we'll soon have huge volumes of data. Gotta collect them all. <laughs> Gotta collect them all. This is like the Anna. I'll add that one straight away. <laughs> yeah. Like a roar. Oops. Like, is she following you? Follow. It Plank can't follow like, that. No, Come I don't on. think so. <laughs> oh, and you climb down too. Nice. Okay, I think your arm went a little bit further than realistic do there. <laughs> Ooh, waterfall. Processing now. You're turning you. into quite the yeah. naturalist. Because I think if we were doing this without someone or something to guide us, it would be kind of overwhelming. It would oh be no, another perfectly good piece of d equipment ruined. Did that oh, beast of yours destroy it, ungrateful pest? Give her a break, Higgs. She's an orphan. Yes. You're right. I know. I'm not worried about those other two dinosaurs that just weren't running by? I don't think so. I thought they were just eating grass before. That's probably why. We have two options. Death, Death or, farm. or farm. I think we should probably go to the farm. Really? <laughs> but, but Death. You just want to see a big Tyrannosaurus. I'd advise against adventure, Robin. It's dangerous. We'd have to explore uncharted areas. We can live here safely by the pod forever. There's living, Higgs, and then there's surviving. Oops, no. That pod doesn't Processing even have a now. shower. Fine, but you can turn back at any time. This direction is definitely dangerous. Well done. Our pit. I'm gonna watch out for that. That's not good. That's where all the dinosaurs go to die. When they become oil, few American cars. I get it. That doesn't look good. Let's not go down there. Hello. I'm just curious if the game will actually stop me at some point. Processing now. Good sounds. Hearing some awesome sounds. Mm. I saw some ribs over there. Those are the same kind of ribs that were in the Tyrannosaurus image. But I'm Robinson, friend of Tyrannosaur. No, I think you're just tiny snack. What is this? Communication device. We scanned another one earlier, and I assume that's what they are. Yeah. I know. Well, ah, not okay. this isn't what we were in before, but it's interesting. Yeah, these are all the achievements and stuff, I guess. Hmm. Help the long necks in the tar pit. Oh, okay. Long necks. Is this like? What was the name of that movie? It was a dinosaur movie. Uh, it it starred a like Brachiosaurus, and he got separated. I think from Old his... Before Time. Yes. Could be. Yes. 
I just remember they had names like that. Yeah. The long necks. Could be. But then we have Tyrannosaurus, which doesn't fit <laughs> in with that. No, it's the nice, gentle Tyrannosaurus. Oh man, it's a chat. Okay. Moon, uh, Barrett. Moon base is first birthday. My father was on Earth for that. He turned into the live. He tuned into the live stream to watch it. With any luck, I'll still be around to see the first birthday of the colony on Tyson. I'm trying not to move my head, but it's pretty <laughs> sensitive. Daniel, great photo, awesome stuff. And to think that's all Dsev was back in the day. A few zany moon men plugging away at the daily grind. Brett, just like us. Here's another thing they don't teach you in history. That mission was a financial failure. Daniel, it did pave the way for Esmeralda to be built, though. Brett, good with the bad. That is a very, very large object. That little dude is a um, astronaut. I don't know. Is it? I mean, that's what it looks like. It looks like he's holding out something. He's got an arm. He's got two little booties down there. Maybe. It looks like a little squirrel to me. <laughs> a little white squirrel. Yeah, no, I think it is, though, because I think of that is a uh, staircase, or sorry, a um, ladder mm. going into this Pretty Titanic big. vehicle. Cool. So that's cool. I think you thought another one was the only one. Check it. Ooh. Check it. We just landed. What the hell? Is that Tyson? I thought everyone was still arguing about the colonization. Man, I gotta play less VR. Uh. Uh. <laughs> yeah, dude, totally. You're total Higgs. I just looked up the image. It's just an old it's an old training emission from Mars. We haven't reached the planet. You checked by the, looking up the image, not looking out the window. <laughs> I wonder what, like, I want more details of this mission. The Roar! Game is probably Roar! Going to give them to, uh, um. Uh, just like, was everybody in cryo sleep? Or? Mm. I mean, what happened to the ship? I mean, obviously it crashed. Yeah. But why did it crash? What, what happened? Yep. Space dinosaurs. That looks like a stick covered in tar. This is definitely the tar pit. I know they are only herbivores in there, Robin, but they have big feet, and they aren't very discriminating. Herbivores also attract predators, and you don't want to become a snack, now do you? I feel like we can't help them yet, but... It's not particularly wise to heedlessly follow your friend everywhere. It's not like it's sniffing out another Higgs unit, is it? Hey girl, it? not so fast! God, that was a huge. <laughs> Why must it constantly cause trouble? Get here. Aha, I'm not the only one who finds your pet disturbing. <laughs> This herd of long necks are grazing peacefully. It would be a wise idea to explore this area before something worse than your pet arrives. Stop walking into the tar. No, it's bad. It doesn't seem to mind so much. I don't think we should Keep away from that unless you want to become extinct. <laughs> See? Tail. You're turning into quite the naturalist. You won't be able to stride through the tar for a long so you'll have to find another way to get from island to island. Getting stuck would be deadly. Let's get up high.
like leftovers from a crash in it some looks places. Like it. Yeah, that's why I was trying to figure out what this is. This looks like I should be able to grab it or something. Switch to levitation mode. Can you levitate anything? <laughs> Probably not outside of my Yeah. Because it seems like you get some extra help for that. Yeah. This is too far to jump. You'll need something to cross the gap. Oh. You are terrible at jumping. <laughs> like, you jump like a lead balloon. Yeah. Don't do it. <laughs> That'd be one thing that you could probably never do in a VR uh, thing is getting this kind of standard push ass to jump in all first person shooters. Mm. Everybody start jumping around. And like, Actually, speaking of which, I might need a brief break on this. Yeah. I don't know how long I've been playing for, but uh, it it's about eight twenty now, so it's you know it's an okay time it's like for a, half a break hour or something. Okay. okay. Right. So we'll take a quick break on this. Just pause it right there. We'll come back we'll in a few minutes. Right back. <laughs> 